aside from the good relations that have developed between these two countries. The Philippines and Indonesia share many similarities. These two countries share many similarities in terms of geography, physical population, and the arrangement of the two countries' capitals. Indonesia and the Philippines can be considered twin brothers due to their many similarities. We've heard a lot about the similarities between these two countries, but it's possible that there are differences, right? This time, we'll compare and contrast Indonesia and the Philippines in 2050. Indonesia's population will be 332 million people, with a population growth rate of 0.21% in Indonesia. Meanwhile, the Philippines' population will be 152 million, with a population growth rate of 0.68% in the Philippines. Indonesia's population density will be 178 people per square kilometer. Meanwhile, the Philippines' population density will be 507 people per square kilometer. Indonesia will have a country area of 1,916,862 square kilometers per square kilometer, 37 provinces, and 94 cities. The Philippines, on the other hand, will have a country area of 300,000 per square kilometer. It will also have 81 provinces and 146 cities. In 2050, the average age in Indonesia will be 37.4 years. The average age is expected to rise to 29.7 years by 2022. In 2050, the average age in the Philippines will be 35 years. 2.4 years apart from Indonesia. In addition, the average age in the Philippines will rise to 25.7 years by 2022. Jakarta, with a population of 35.5 million people, Surabaya, with a population of 9.1 million people, and Bandun, with a population of 8.6 million people, are the three largest cities in Indonesia in the year 2050. While in the Philippines, there will be an increase in population in a number of cities, including Metro Manila population 23.9 million, Davao City population 2.4 million, and Cebu City population 1.3 million. Gross domestic product GDP is defined as the total value of all goods and services produced in a given area over a given time period, which is usually a year. The gross domestic product of Indonesia is $7.02 trillion USD. In comparison, the Philippines has a GDP of $2.72 trillion. GDP PPP, or gross domestic product based on purchasing power parity, is a method for calculating an alternative exchange rate between two countries' currencies. GDP measures how much a currency can buy in international terms, usually dollars, because the prices of goods, products, and services vary by country. In 2050, Indonesia's GDP will be $10.51 trillion based on purchasing power parity. Meanwhile, the Philippines has a gross domestic product GDP of $3.34 trillion based on purchasing power parity. The literacy rate is determined by the percentage of a specific age group's population who can read and write. The adult literacy rate is for people aged 15 and up. The youth literacy rate is for people aged 15 to 24, and the adult literacy rate is for people aged 65 and up. In 2050, Indonesia will have a literacy rate of 98.5%. Meanwhile, the Philippines will have a literacy rate of 99.5% in 2050, which is 1% higher than Indonesia. <laughs>